The 2021 Community Tour Finals are here. Over the last six months, every player has been competing to earn those coveted top 16 slots and play in the Tour Finale for the title of 2021 Community Tour Player of the Year and $1,000 in prizes. So over the next two weeks, this event is going to be brought to you uh, entirely on twitch.tv slash copper pitch. I'll also be uploading all the matches here as well. So you guys can check them out. I'll be having different co-hosts with me each time covering every single game in the tournament. So today we've got two of the matches from the round of 16 of the tournament finals. We've got caution fun versus Revan, and we've got Mirage 88 versus V2 uh, in one of the most insane matches I've ever witnessed in my life. So let's dive in and take a look at what happened. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 Community Tour Finals. I'm here with the Mud Man. How are you doing, the Mud Man? I'm doing great. Super excited to get into these games. Awesome. Well, let's do it. We've got two TST matchups coming at you right now. So let's buckle up. There are 16 people left in this tour. In this tour, it lasted five months. These are the top 16 players. We've got. Our first match You're a here. Wizard, Harry. Super excited to watch it. We got 8M Revan versus TST Caution Fun. Let's get underway. Yeah, he's uh looks like he's playing an aggro magic deck. How do you feel about this opening hand here? It looks pretty sweet. Uh how's that? Yes, can hear you now. Alright, great. Yeah, so he's got the Shadow Scryer and the Pyramid Warden, so it's looking good. Ooh, but now, now Revan drops super big turn one here. Pyramid Warden and an Assistant Alchemist. That's like the one of the biggest turn ones you can have stat-wise. Yeah, it's almost the best thing you can do. <laughs> the best thing is two Assistant Alchemists plus Pyramid Warden? Yeah, it could have been slightly better, but <laughs> it happens almost never. Yeah. Our caution does have the uh, the palace's wand, which could be really big in the mm. mirror match. Get more resources, play more cards, win the game. Yeah, uh, here we see a diamond flying carpet. That's pretty nice looking. I sold the diamond flying carpet once upon a time. I regret it. Oh, really? <laughs> I think I sold it for ten dollars. I have a diamond flying carpet. I think uh, I think they're going for a little more than ten dollars now, though. Oh, yeah, but like people aren't buying diamond carpets. You don't have to feel bad about it. Money's money. <laughs> made 10 bucks. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so how do we feel about what's, uh, what's transpired here? It looks like Revan might have more tempo here if he can get some big creatures out. Oni's pretty big. Yeah, um, if someone can stick an Oni, that'll be a big deal. Uh, I, kinda, I don't know. Caution's hand is decent. He doesn't have any big stuff. Yeah. Does have that conjure with ward is very frustrating. Hmm. Yeah. You think he uses that worm breath here to clear out the pyramid warden? Looks like that's what he's thinking about. It, like looking at his hand, it's sort of all he can do. He can play portal wrangler. That's not very good. Mm. Play palaces once, not very good. It's got to be worm breath. Yeah. When he gets back the uh, the gold pyramid warden, got to feel pretty good about that. Yep. Very decent. Instantly gives this ward because his opponent's god power could just murder it otherwise. Yeah, and flying carpet with the new ward 2.0 is just really strong. That card's hard to remove now. Caution did warn me that this would come up for about a few seconds and then we'd be back into the game. So, oh man, like now what are we talking about? <laughs> have, no, have no fret. Well, we could talk about all these TST members. You got Apollo, Bonk, Business Socks, Caution Fun. I wasn't done reading. We'll never know. All right, nice. Back to the game. <laughs> so he gives protected to his creature. That's got to feel pretty nice. Yeah, protected Oni is so strong. Ward <laughs> and protected, that's way too much. It's pretty much unkillable. Yeah, this... Uh, I'm not sure if he swung with the 1-3 uh, yet. But I yeah, mean, like he's got to, if he, if he has an attack with the Street Conjure, he has to trade into the Flying Carpet, because the Oni is just mm. too important.
comes to the same conclusion as you. So now here, yeah, those, caution those like could. Tempo decks. Yeah, he could pop Possibly. the ward and uh, tracking bolt the oni. What do you think about that? Uh, I think you definitely do it. The oni is a high priority creature. Yeah. Getting it off the board is no essential. Hmm. Yeah, it gives it gives ward to every creature every single time you play a card. Not every creature, but to a creature every single time you play a card. Uh, to the yeah, creature with the lowest health. Yeah, and it gains plus one strength each time as well. That's right. So, yeah, double snowball. So if you can kill it, you gotta kill it. Yeah, that's a very strong core epic card. It's a oh, nice, definitely. nice free to play player's dream. And Caution's in an interesting spot here. He got rid of the Oni, but his board is weaker. His hand's pretty small. Got a health disadvantage. Mm. Ranger first pose decent. What kind of target are you looking for for this portal wrangler at this point? Um, maybe like a miraculous familiar mm. or an oni, or just like a turn where he can play like some sort of bolt and have four mana left over. Mm. And just get anything. Yeah. Even the street conjure wouldn't be that bad. Mm. Kind of been sitting on that palace's wand for a while, not drawing cards from it, but finally he has an opportunity to, to play it here. Start getting some extra yeah, cards. Just, his mana's just been awkward. He had those mm -hmm. turns like he had to kill the Oni, he had to kill the Pyramid Warden, he just didn't have the time to play yeah. the palace's wand. Alright, so now Caution's finally got the board, and he has the Relic. The relic's going to be really big. Mm. Yeah, they both have essentially the same number of cards in hand. Revan has two, but it's his turn, so on Caution's turn, he'll draw a second card. But Caution's going to be able to start drawing almost one extra turn, one extra card every other turn or so. Yeah, and the Portal Wrangler gets an extra mm. resource also. True. So Caution's hand is deceptively large. Ooh, palace could be big. Mm, yeah, palace. Oh, so he, he copies the palace. Soaking Demetrios. Wow. All right, so it was a pretty great portal wrangler. <laughs> and then he gets the assistant alchemist, so he could even play that and a palace here if he wanted to. Yeah, and that'd be great. That would set him up for next turn's palace's wand. Although with Demetrios and Demetrios' spell, you're set for palace's wand. Oh, yeah. Now the question is... What does Revan draw here through the palace, which draws him a random spell? Any spell in the game, yep. is that correct? It's not just a uh, yeah, Delva spell. Yeah, any god. That's crazy. It could literally be any spell. It could be Apocalypse Now. Oh, yeah, it could be like lots of stuff. Palace is really good, especially because yeah. you get to Delve. It's not totally random. Mm. So, like, you know, you can get like a buff card sometimes. He's going to need some sort of good AoE, and I can't think of a great one for six mana. Hmm. Like Black Blood Blast? Oh, that wouldn't be good. Rapture Dance is interesting. Rapture Dance would be a good one. Wow. And he gets it! That's crazy! <laughs> Yo, Palace is so good. Palace is ridiculous. <laughs> F, F's in the chat for caution there. That one. That was awesome. That was the <laughs> perfect card. <laughs> I couldn't have felt good. Let's see what Caution gets to delve, though. Caution's going to delve a spell. Got some interesting options. Penitence can transform an enemy creature with four or more attack. So uh, we're probably not going to see any big creatures. That's probably not going to come up. Yeah, Trial... These are bad options. <laughs> yeah. Trial of the False Reflection copies a target, but it, it needs to live in order for it to actually make a copy. And he can play that next turn, but like Caution and Ravon, they both have cheap cards. Do you really want to spend seven mana yeah. to get like a whole bunch of assistant alchemists every turn? The answer is yes. <laughs> or maybe yeah. he gets a bunch of what if he gets a bunch of Demetriosuses and they all that would be cool. buff his final <laughs> draft? <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Caution gets out the second uh, diamond warded flying carpet here yeah the problem is he just has no way of killing this palace and we just saw last turn palace can be so nuts <laughs> yeah 
He can Hashim do... was deep in the lead and then surprised <laughs> after that. <laughs> he can he can play he's thinking about playing ancient texts and the next turn a two mana final draft would kill off. But then he can't play the and trial. He, and he's going for protected on mm. the the ancient text. Ah, he, he can goes... protect either Demetrius or the palace. Interesting. Nope, going for two damage. Yeah, that's true. So now if, if Revan god powers and kills off Demetrios, the final draft doesn't get big enough to kill off Pallas. Yeah, even if the final draft is just one damage, one card, like that's still pretty good. Yeah. And it forces Revan to use two mana. Mm. He's eyeballing this trial of the false reflection. We could see some insane things happening here. I'd be really excited to see trial of the false reflection work. Maybe <sighs> Cotton gets a whole bunch of palaces. <laughs> Can he make a palace with only two? Nope, it's dead now. But can he? But you can copy your opponent's creature. Is that true? I've never played Trial of the False Reflection. I think you can copy your opponent's creature. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's definitely a card that you do not see every day. All right, Miraculous Familiar plus Final Draft, pretty great. Yeah, that's a huge combo. And yet again, he's going to get to pick, or he doesn't get to delve this random spell, but he'll get a random spell from any spell in the game. Yeah, and that'll be good. Plus the card he draws off the final draft, mm. and the card he gets off Palace oh, of Wands. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that Miraculous Familiar was a really good pick. Oh, do you not play the second Miraculous Familiar first, and then draw two cards with that spell? Well, I, I, Caution has to god power away that Palace, right? So uh, he doesn't have enough mana for it. That's fair. I oh, probably, probably would have gotten greedy. Protective Benediction. <laughs> Pro protective Benediction's pretty nuts. He has seven mana next turn. If he really wanted to, he could just play Oni and protect the Benediction and give it two armor and two more health. Oh. And then how do you ever kill it? <laughs> uh, I think it's give one armor. Is that is that correct? Yes, it is. It's one armor. Yeah, but but even something. one one armor just nullifies uh, Revan's God Power. Yeah, it'd be one armor and it would have five health and two oh. attack. Like that seems kind of hard to beat. Yeah. And then you and then you reflect trial of the fallen. Oh my god! I hope we. Plan. I hope we get to see this. This would be insane. Yeah, caution is just stacked. His hand is enormous. Revan's only got two cards. Caution is just sitting on... Yeah, and Caution's hand is good. Yeah. Besides the Trial of the False Reflection, all the other cards are really great cards. Yeah. Is he going to go for the Protective Benediction? He's eyeballing it. Here it comes. Oh my god, what's he going to use it on? He can pick... Oh wow. He's got the armor. Yeah, you always go armor. And he gives it extra health. Keyword. Okay, so yeah, no, no Protected, but... Okay. He could have given it Protected, but... Yeah, but health and protected is like with armor, more health is really strong. Yeah. Like I, whenever I play protected benediction and light, I almost always pick armor and health. Mm. Makes sense. This could be the greatest Oni of all time. <laughs> I think it might be. It's a two five with armor and ward, and it's uh it's got a big hand behind it so this hand is just getting ready to buff this oni yeah i'm excited to see what caution does does he just spill on the board get more resources and buff the oni or does he play the trial of the false reflection oh get greedy and <laughs> everybody would be very stoked on him if he plays trial of the false reflection it would be the greatest tournament moment of all time i think but I, I, that gorilla sabotage looks pretty nice here too yeah, I think you do a Miraculous Familiar type turn next turn. Yeah. And uh, Trial of the False Reflections here for moral support. <laughs> That's a nice heal for Revan here, getting his Pyramid Warden back up to speed here. But I think Caution probably could play enough cards next turn to buff this Oni into oh, doing definitely. six damage. He yeah. also he has the Axe Woman and the uh, the Valve Champions. Even mm. if the Oni didn't get buffed, Kasha yeah. can kill it. Yeah. And now a Worm Breath to boot. Here comes another Miraculous Familiar. Oh man, he's got a huge hand. He gets the two favor for each card in hand. But no, he actually wants to take favor away from Revan. Which is wise. Interesting. Now Revan doesn't have enough favor to buy anything. Which is definitely a good move. 
Gorilla Sabotage deals two damage to each, and then it's going to pull them back into his hand. I'm glad you said that. I had no idea what that card did. Well, it looks like it only pulls one back. Yeah, Gorilla Sabotage is yet another card you just don't see played ever. I thought it does now the Oni can get damage regen. to both. I guess it only does damage to one randomly, and if it survives, it goes back to the hand. Interesting. Blessing of Nature. Oh my god, if he gives Blessing of Nature to Oni. Yeah, that'd be pretty great. Then it's definitely the best Oni of all time. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this looks uh this looks moderately insurmountable. I'm assuming Revan's playing a very similar deck. There's probably no seven, eight, or nine mana cards. Yeah, this Oni is just gonna be too hard to destroy. Yeah, I think it's gonna take something from a miraculous familiar like an apocalypse yeah, now. Crying. Yeah. Like if he could if he could delve in a, or or you don't get to delve with the miraculous, but if if you can draw a random card like End times or apocalypse now, maybe even a worm breath would do it. Mm. Yeah, there's definitely some outs, but not many. There's also dense fog. <laughs> there's there's pl and, and plenty Revan's of Revan's hands just oh, small. What? If it's not worm breath. He needs two spells to kill the oni, and he only he has two cards in his whole hand. Gets he's got the worm, the worm breath. How? Revan's really good at this <laughs> RNG stuff. What an incredible get. I wonder if that came from the Miraculous or if he just had it in hand. Well, it was a, it was a Meteorite Worm Breath, right? Oh, wow. So unless Revan bought that, he got it off the RNG. That's insane. So That's first he got the, the Rapture Dance, right? When that was the only card that could matter. <laughs> and then he got the only spell we could think of that does it on oh, its own. Oh my for god. Mana. That's incredible. Yeah, Revan's really good at this. What is the plague? The, they are getting... So many cards that I just have oh, no idea one. what they are. It like destroys all creatures and replaces them with zombies, but if you're frenzied, it just destroys your opponent's creatures or something. Seems like a job for Cardbot. <laughs> it's going to get protected here. He could do two damage to his opponent's face, but he wants to keep that Miraculous Familiar alive. Yeah, like, uh, both players just have so much health. Revan has full health, so yeah. you're going to need lots more resources to actually win the game. It's crazy two that damage that's to the, face doesn't get there. Yeah, that's the first time that he's hitting face here. And they're yeah, almost, they're at, they're at eight mana, and that's the first time he finally gets to go face. Well, I think, I think Caution did, like, a little bit of damage in the beginning, and then there was a Rune of Healing. Oh, yeah. But the, you're essentially right. That's crazy. Not much face damage has happened. Yeah. Every time, every time Caution almost had the chance to go face, Revan just got some really nice cards to clear the board or clear the important parts of the board. Yeah, that's generally what happens in these like tempo mirror matches is both players just fight for the board until one of them runs out of resources. Yeah. And Caution still just has a much bigger hand. Yeah, the Crystal Rain is decent. Doesn't get rid of the Familiar. Familiar is the most important thing here. Blessing of Nature is kind of good. <laughs> Looks like he's kind of... He uses it on Miraculous Familiar. Keeps yeah, it. Like, the name of the game is keep your value generators around, right? Like, yeah. both players are going to run out of cards soon. Yeah. So if the Familiar can live, it's good. Yeah, it looks... By the looks of it, Caution only has about five or six cards left in his deck, maybe? Yeah, he's drawn a lot. That uh, Palace's Wand has been equipped for a long time. Yeah. Are we going to see the Trial of the False Reflection? Oh, God. I just don't see how it survives a turn, but... He's eyeballing it. He's going for it. Wow. This is nuts. All right, this is exciting. This is very exciting. Oh, so it immediately copies, too. Okay, so I've never played this card yeah, before. Yeah. I thought you had to wait till the start of your next turn. I see. Wow. So he shouldn't have killed the other one? Yeah, the he other killed one. one. 
It seems like the other He's one has the effect. <laughs> yeah, it does. But Revan, Revan's got it. He okay. It out. I was gonna say. Kill both. Okay. Oh, this is, uh... Alright, hey. so Caution's about to have both Street Conjures, a Valve Learning, Valve Champions, and Worm Breath. So he's gonna be able to do a lot of damage really soon. Yeah, it looks like he's, uh, he's thinking about doing it now. It looks like he's gearing up for some face. Yeah. Flipping like, the switch. Yeah, that Worm, that worm Breath is gonna be seven face damage. And if both these three conjures can just live till next turn, the Valve Learning gets to deal three damage instead of one. That's a pretty big deal. Oh, He's... he can guarantee it happens because the palace is one. Oh wow. Yeah, he's got Valve Champions too, which would do four. He's going to kill off the, uh, he does two damage to the, uh, Scryer so he can finish it off with his own Scryer, presumably, or is he going to just, nope, he's not going to go face at all. Okay. It looks like he really wanted to keep his, uh, protected bubble on yeah. his shadow Scryer. Makes sense. Missed one damage for it. That's, yeah, that's probably worth it. Yeah. Caution looks like he's got like three or four cards left in his deck here. I'd be curious to, as to how many he has at this point. It can't be many. It, it's uh, He's got 28 favor. He can grab at least one card from the Sanctum. Revan striking back, putting out his own Oni and a warded uh, flying carpet. Yeah, which uh, he could have picked 4C. It probably doesn't matter at this stage in the game. He probably knows what he's drawing, but you know, in this scenario, you can pick 4C, the flying carpet gets warded no matter what. Hmm, good point. Good point. Oh, another Oni. Yeah, and Caution's got the tracking bolt on the top of his deck. It's a nice way to take tracking out his opponent's Oni. Good. Yeah. Oh, but he throws it back. Interesting. So the plague transforms each creature into a 1-1 one, one zombie. If you're frenzied, transform just the enemy creatures instead. Okay. That doesn't sound like it should be 8 mana. <laughs> yeah, it does not. And I don't think, I don't think he's ever really going to have the opportunity to play that. Oh, Cotton has an Asterisk Implosion in his deck. Wow. Very cool. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's... Adding up to be a lot of damage to the face between the asterisk and the worm breath. Yeah, and the street conjurer who is now warded. Yeah. That's 13 face damage. Ah, he plays that Miraculous Familiar that was Gorilla sabotaged off the board many turns ago, so that's why it's a 3-1. And he gets to kill the Oni. And draw a random spell that we have no idea what he's got. It's an ancient text that would be quite good for protecting his face. <laughs> So suddenly Revan has four cards in hand. It's an ancient text. It's an ancient text. You're about five, three seconds ahead of us. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's all good. You're just psychic, maybe. Spoilers. <laughs> got the ancient text. So he doesn't cover his face. He covers his, um, his miraculous familiar, familiar, which... I guess makes sense here. There's a lot of ways you could ping that protected off the face. Yeah, and in, in Revan's defense, I don't think he's expecting this asterisk implosion. That is not a normal inclusion. Yeah. Oh, and that asterisk also kills the Mirac. That's brutal. Yeah, wow. that's really big. 
Caution looks like he's got two cards left in his deck. He's played one Worm Breath already. I think he's played both Ancient Texts already. Both Vows of Learning. It might just be Worm Breath and then like four God Powers to the face is what he needs. <sighs> That'd be rough. Yeah, so there's a front line now. It's going to make it tough to do any damage with creatures. If caution may not have creatures left, it might just be that Pyramid Warden. Yeah. All right, he's got another Ancient Texts. He's going to use it to finish off the Spell Booster. Oh yeah, he's got Stormfield. So Stormfield takes out Frontliners. Oh, there's a Rune of Fire in the Sanctum. Oh, that Rune of Fire. Oh that's no. Huge. That's that's eight damage. That's nine damage with his God Power. It's so close to lethal. Yeah, then that's just two more turns to lethal. As and long as there's, like, there's no healing in the Sanctum. He's only got one card left in his deck. He just hovered, so we know for a fact this is such a close game. Yeah, this is a great first game. Yeah. Hopefully all the rest are like this. <laughs> this is this is gonna come down to the last last card in the deck, pretty much. And these are two decks like the Asterisk Implosion was a weird inclusion. Usually these decks tap out at four or five mana and we got all the way up to nine. Yeah. And so I, like, I would honestly say game. that I would expect uh, maybe an epiphany more than a more than a um, asterisk implosion, I think. I think. It, yeah, it's uh, interesting. Yeah. For uh, for this game, the the asterisk was definitely better. Like, oh not yeah. Not only because it killed the creature, but just caution's been drawing through his deck like crazy. He's about to hit fatigue, so maybe mm. he he knew epiphany would be too much card draw. Oh, that's true. That's true. Wow. He thought of everything. Oh, this is the the 16 best players in God's Unchained history. <laughs> that's true. That's a fact. What it's actually. all culminating for. <laughs> That's true. Six months of nonstop tournament action. These guys are the best. Yep. I, I bet every single game's going to go down to fatigue. <laughs> no, no one wants to I lose. It's going to be a really <laughs> long broadcast if every game goes to fatigue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Revan can actually force caution to draw his last card here but it actually doesn't matter because it literally is the last card he was going to draw it at the start of the next turn anyway so it still helps Revan he can get an extra card here yep and caution uh, caution does still have enough to draw one more card from the sanctum yeah and, it's too bad the sanctum's not looking that juicy yeah that top card's going to get uh, replaced but yeah we don't know what it's going to be maybe like a vow Rune of Strength? Oh, I forgot I'm ahead of you. Spoilers. <laughs> oh, Rune of Strength. <laughs> oh, but he doesn't take it. Doesn't need Does it. Does he need it? He doesn't need it. He's got the Rune of Fire and the Worm Breath, and that is going to do it. No cards GG. left in the deck. Wow. Oof. Great first game. Incredible first game. That... Was amazing. Look at this beautiful splash screen Caution put up for us. Oh, just for one yeah, second. Yeah, that was very nice of him. <laughs> Thank you, Caution. GG's indeed. That... Yeah, that was a great first game. Yes. Um. All right, so as this is queuing in here, oh, okay, there we go. We're queued in. This is game number two. We see Caution is going first. Again, I believe he went first last time as well. Yeah, I think so. And uh, this time, you you do have so, to win with you do have to win with three different guts. And uh, yeah, caution switched to light. Revan switched, even though he didn't have to, and picked deception. How do you feel about this matchup on paper? Uh, on paper, it's it's got to be light favored, mm. right? Especially with that new radiant dawn. I, I'm oh, assuming Revan yeah. is playing sleep deception. Hmm. Yep, that's a, probably a good assumption. And yes, Radiant Dawn is a new spell that wakes creatures up from sleep. Hallelujah. I love that card. Yeah, and it buffs the entire board plus one plus two. Yeah, it's it, uh, it's my new favorite card. And and also just all the ward creatures Light has in general. Mm. 
yeah. Caution has the... none in his hand, but he's bound to get some eventually. Yeah, you got like Highborn Knight. You've got the um, the Acolyte. What's the uh, three two Acolyte? Or there's the Devoted Follower. Devoted Follower. Bright Mage. Yeah, yeah, Bright Mage. Yeah. Yeah, all that ward's gonna help keep things. Oh, CERN is just a great card. Even even after the nerf down to two strength, it's still one yeah, of my favorite fun. cards. That card is insane. Yeah, it's really great. It it does it just does too many things to be bad. Oh, it yeah. turns off a creature, you draw cards, you heal yourself. It's just really good. Yeah. Now he's not playing heal though. I've been playing CERN in heal decks, namely so I can draw cards and stuff. But uh yeah. how does he how does he heal if he doesn't doesn't have heal god power. Probably just with CERN. CERN's probably just a one turn draw. Mm. I imagine. Interesting. Yep, that makes sense. Revan has been just he's had the nuts so far. The, <laughs> the mugging was great, the umber arrow was great. Tasha Forge? has no way to Oh stop no, he he shouldn't play this because if he plays it, it's not gonna heal anything. Yeah, he must not know. He didn't know. Oh yeah, no. Folks, uh CERN has to have a target to order in order to get the healing. Yeah, that's that's brutal. I don't like that. I think they should change it. Um, yeah, you'd you'd think it would just work no matter what. Yeah, that's that seemed like a brutal surprise there for caution. I saw him hover over the card after the fact. He said that's the first time I've ever played CERN. Oh, and of course he played it on an empty board. It's the worst time to play it. Oh, he does no. have the protector benediction, with uh, which is like really great with the CERN in general. Mm. The armor is going to make it so these dumb deadly guys can't kill anything. Yeah, protective benediction is just absolutely insane. The ar the armor, yeah, it's a really oh good, man, strong card. it's so strong. A little surprised maybe that he didn't take protected because then he could have killed off Marcella. Oh, I guess he still can. He still can, or he can get rid of the armor and the health is just gonna make it so. Uh... Rapture Dance never kills anything, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, and, and a 2 7 with one armor, and anytime anything gets healed on either side of the board, he gets to draw cards. So, I mean, yeah, that, that CERN just looks disturbing. And just, uh, I don't know the name of that legendary creature Revan played, but it's just definitely better for Caution than Revan. His deadly <sighs> creatures can't kill anything Caution has, and Caution <laughs> will get deadly creatures. Yeah. I believe that's Lady Marcella, and uh, yeah, when when it dies, Caution will actually get two deadly one ones, and the namely the goal of that is to try and get your opponent to go wide so you can play a Rapture Dance. But like you said, these this armor is just insane. Although here we see Stone Skin, which does set things on fire, gives it order, kind of takes them out of the game for now. Yeah, Stone Skin's really strong, but Caution does pick up the Canonize, which is actually awkward, because it's the turn before Asterius. Hmm. Maybe it's right. good with Helios? But Helios is not good, because that thing. Mm -hmm. Thorny situation. Yeah, what does Helios just a card do? At the end of every turn, mm. an opposing creature gets Order 1. Right, right, right. Thank you. And um, it's a 4-5. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, it looks like he's thinking about playing that. I mean, it's almost tempting to grab those like card sharks, try and go wide for your uh, Asterius, but then you get wrecked by uh, by Rapture Dance. You got to be careful. And Caution did luck out. the uh, The deadly creature got ordered, mm. so he should be safe. Yeah, that was a, that was a little bit of a gamble there. But next turn, the order comes off of CERN. So Caution can Asterius and get two creatures to buff from it. Then have the Helios behind a frontline creature. So that should be pretty strong. So he does put them to sleep with Elixir of the Panther. Are we going to see like a top deck of a Radiant Dawn here? I feel it coming. Oh, I called cool. it! I oh actually God. called it! I love this card so much that I've top decked it so many times. In the, the exact right moment that I just felt it coming. I felt it. Like, this is pretty great. The downside is Asterius is pretty bad now. 
That's true. That's that's true. That's a downside. But nothing yeah, makes but me happier. Like... And nothing makes me happier than waking up my creatures. Nothing makes me happier. We we've, we've went three years with no counter to sleep. Oh, I love oh, to yeah, see yeah, it. Finally, <laughs> radiant dawn just brings a tear to my eye. I love it. Yeah, it looks like Caution's debating whether he wants to go face or trade with the one one. Which I don't know why you'd ever do that. <laughs> He's going to lose that five. Oh, no. He gets order again to the deadly. So lucky. Uh, and just, just beautiful. All right, but he's got yeah, a wide board. I think we're about strength. to see Rapture Dance. Here it comes. Yeah, probably. And uh, that kills everything but CERN, right? Yeah. Wow, what a Rapture Dance. And CERN's on fire for two, so despite the armor, it will die next turn unless you top deck more buffs or canonize it. Would Radiant Dawn is a buff. I think I think you keep that until you're sleeped again, but maybe you just canonize here. Yeah, canonize doesn't look bad. Revan doesn't have that much health left. Maybe Caution can just, you know, squeak over the finish line. Yeah. I'm picturing a scenario where he canonizes here, Revan uh, tries to sleep him one more time, and then you just see a Radiant Dawn. Not sure if that's quite that enough. That sounds realistic. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's quite enough to... Well, that'll do six, seven next turn. It's not quite enough to get him there. And Light doesn't have much over-the-top damage. Maybe Caution can pick up, like, a, a Cudgel or a Ritual Rod. Hmm. Ooh, Hunting Trap will kill that. That's tough. I think that might be the first time Revan's used his God Power. <sighs> I think he's maybe used it at least once. I th I think I could be wrong. I don't think Caution's used his god power either. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And when you top deck things like Radiant Dawn right when you need it, you don't need to use your god power. Yeah, both players have been too strong every turn. Yeah. So he's finally gonna levy. I assume the deadly creature, but that frontliner is also annoying. But yeah, he takes out the deadly. Finally uses his god power. Yeah, both players did it turn after turn. <laughs> now, can these Acolytes stick for a Holy Enchanter? Oh, here's the demo. But again, we see Radiant Dawn. But it's only one creature. Yeah, but... It's not worth doing now. Yeah, probably not. Wait for the next leap. If he plays Shield Bear, he no longer gets the buff from Mysterious. It's like he was going to God Power and Holy Enchanter. Hmm. Okay, this is Caution probably just acknowledging that it's going to have to be a Radiant Dawn buff because he's probably thinking he's going to be asleep for the rest of the turns anyway. Hmm. To just get as wide as possible, get as much damage out there. Like maybe Revan go to face and then just plays a exercise or something. And Caution gets to punish him in his head i think we're about to see a second demo i think he brought it down to th three health for yeah, a reason <laughs> or or i guess any sleep actually does uh trigger that demo again so yeah he just he just brought it down to three and then sleeps everything but we do have a radiant dawn but at the same time and revan has another might front not line matter. Up. that's tough Yeah, this is this is not looking great. It I seems just... like it's going to be another turn where Caution can't get rid of the demo, and that means Revan's going to play a second demo eventually. Uh, he uses his second Radiant Dawn here, so he needs to needs to uh, see what he gets back from the from the Pyramid Warden first here. Not too much. Yeah, he's just not destroying the demo. If the demo doesn't die, then he doesn't stand a chance. Revan's going to be at 30 health really soon. He's going to get the second demo. Rapture Dance is good enough to win. Oof. And there it is. Another Rapture yes, Dance. Yeah, GG's. That was a rough one. Revan took it's it down. He did both Radiant Dawns and still lost to the Sleep. I know. It's almost like Sleep has been really powerful for three years.
Yeah, I think they might need to incorporate more anti sleep. <laughs> if this didn't work, like with both Rigby and Dons on big boards, still couldn't beat Sleep Deception, then maybe but, Sleep Deception is too good. Yeah. And he went first, too. Uh, now yeah, we everything see. Everything was going. Yeah, now we see Caution going first again. He switches to War, and Revan once again switches. Uh, as he won, he can't play Deception anymore. He switched to Nature. Yeah, so Slayer versus Nature. I was going to say, who do you like in this matchup? I like whoever goes first. Yeah, going first is definitely important. The The new Flourish God power is just really mm, good. That's true. It's uh, it's not going to be particularly helpful against popping protecteds, you know, like not as much as badgers at least, but mm. being able to heal and trade up is really good. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, Revan just floats the first turn. Wow, that's hard to do as Flourish Nature. He must have really bricked. <laughs> uh, that feels really bad. Unless he's playing secretly big beasts. Uh, and this... still with. Yeah, this just this just feels very bad for Revan. And now there's three creatures on the board. One of them is a shield bear. You oh. Can't... oh my god, what to... is his hand? <laughs> it's a bag in order to get to a bronze servant when Caution didn't even have a relic equipped. He must have just bricked That's... so hard. And then on the flip side, Caution has three <laughs> out of four gold creatures. <laughs> oh boy, this... That... I think this is yeah, the definition of over. yeah getting run over here. This is just yeah. I'd and then next turn, <laughs> yeah, next turn it the size of the small. harvest is going to be just insane too. Size of the harvest, if, even if you wanted to float a man and play the the raid guy, the caution just so mm. far ahead, more protected. Nature can't deal with that very well. Yeah. Big yikes. Uh, is there any three mana card? I guess like Pip Wildfire wouldn't be the worst. No, oh, all right. He gives he gives the uh, bronze servant some armor. I don't think it's gonna do anything at this point. In just three turns, that pyramid warden will be gone. <laughs> In just three turns, I think Revan's got about half of a turn left. Yes. My God. So Caution can get that form of power, and that means even if Revan clears the board, still loses. <laughs> Jeez. Because he can't kill off his own creature because of the aspect of the pangolin, so Caution always has a target for the form of power. Oh. Well, he does have the relic removal. Kyron, very nice. Okay, and he... he's got two mana to make a miracle happen. <laughs> he just needs to deal with... Oh, he does get the miracle! This, uh... Yeah, I think his only option is Vanguard Axe Woman, right? Yeah, he he still needs to take out that 3-2, though, somehow. Otherwise, the yeah, god no, powers... He still can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I still don't think... Uh... Oh, nope. That's gonna do... That was pretty savage. Yeah, he put up a valiant effort right at the end, but he got just steamrolled. Yeah, there's just nothing you can do. If you draw, draw like that, and you just... If you float turn one against someone who's going first trying to run you over, I mean, good luck. Yeah, he floated turn one. Caution played a Pyramid Warden. Then Revan <laughs> pipped into a Three mana skeleton heavy. <laughs> it went really bad for Revan, really good for Caution. Yeah. All right, now Caution's going to take a page out of Revan's book and uh, play Flourish, it looks like. Oh, is he going to go? He goes Animal Bond. All right, this seems crazy to me. I think no one told Caution that, that Flourish is cooked. Yeah, I think although Flourish is objectively better than Animal Bond, against like nature specifically, mm. since they have things like a Lightning Strike Canopy Barrage, like having an extra like dumb mm. little badger creature could be really good fair enough also caution has the apple guy and that might be my favorite card <laughs> yes finian fruit bearer is ridiculous uh he's really strong the apples look amazing <laughs> really fun he's so i mean he's just you don't you you feel like you want to play like you could drop it turn one but you don't want to do that you want to make sure you're you're frenzied already when you drop it and then it comes down as a two mana three four worth of stats that can just keep on spitting out value it's insane and uh caution's got a shield bear and it's going to be really good <laughs> shield bear got a great trade actually in two yeah so now any of those random spells big risks um underbrush board's a big risk yeah this feels really bad for revan who had to go second th four times in a row i've been there in tournaments and it's not fun 
Uh, I, he did go second every single game. I will say that uh, we have talked to Immutable about this problem, and uh, I believe that hopefully this will be one of the last tournaments, if not the last tournament, before they implement <laughs> some type of... Uh, we need to know who's going. We need to be able to set who goes first. It needs to alternate. Uh, yeah. It needs to be a little more fair. That would be interesting. Yeah. That, like, that changes the whole meta, right? Because that way you can be like, well, I know I'm going first this round, I'll play an aggro deck, mm. and I'm going second next round, I'll play a control deck. Interesting. Like, mitigate it. Yeah. yeah but either way, Caution's got an apple. So in my book, it's over. <laughs> He's also got a gold boar, so... The gold's really going to clash with all these shadow cards on the board. That's true. The, this... And Caution has the canopy barrage, I know the canopy. Is just perfect for this. Yeah, this just feels horrible. He's just got the perfect cards in response every single time. I mean, he doesn't even have to think. Like, they just play themselves. Yeah, this is going really well. And then, uh, you think he plays oh, the Trial man. Spirit and floats a mana? Nope, there's... I didn't see the Rune of Strength. That's really great. Yeah, that Finian is now just enormous. Oh, boy. Yeah, now, uh, if Revan wants to get rid of it, he has to get lucky with a Canopy Barrage, and then <sighs> also hit himself in the face for four. <laughs> and you can't afford to take four damage now. He's almost dead. Oh, man. Oh, there's his own Finian, but unfortunately he's not frenzied, so it just comes down as a regular old 2-3. Yeah, a little less exciting. Yeah. And um, here's so here's where, like, Flourish would have been better, and that's why I'm correct, and everybody in the chat who said that uh, Animal Bond is better is wrong. Well, yeah, you're absolutely right. Caution hasn't hit the God Power button once yet. Mm-hmm. Thank and, you. Uh, he may or may not have flowed into mana at some point. Mm-hmm. These guys don't know what they're talking about, but they, they're just only the top 16 players in Gods Unchained. History, battling it out right now. Yeah, so. So I, I probably know better. Definitely. <laughs> you stream. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that was interesting. I was thinking the Apple would trade into the Marsh Walker, and then he can just play Underbrush Board, and it guarantees a kill. Yeah. But also, Caution, I don't think he can really lose from this position. <laughs> true. Like, Revan can't play the hunt. Revan can't do anything. Yeah, if he had a hunt, maybe there's, like, an outside chance at a comeback. He doesn't, he doesn't but have enough mana to play the hunt. There's just not enough mana. I did play in this tournament, um, but I came in just outside of the top 16. Well, that makes it easier for you to host. Oh, yeah. It was a good decision for the people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I definitely lost on purpose. That's what it was. Yeah, you threw on for content. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he's got 10 health left here. He's got no... no. This just feels so bad. He's going to get an Apple Boy. But it's one Apple Boy too yeah, that's late. that's nice. And Conscience board is pretty lackluster. It's big. So like maybe Revan can turn around. I don't know. It's it's he's in a really rough spot. If he top decks a hunt next turn, and if caution, well, I don't know that caution could really brick that bad here. He'll have at least eight. Yeah, Revan had to buy the the relic, otherwise that's six face damage that he could not take. Yeah, and that means if caution wants to, he can play skeleton heavy marsh walker and the. The front line in the sanctum and that's a lot of health on the board yeah yep suddenly the hunt is no longer an out yep. I mean, it could be interesting if he was actually playing some type of control or mid-range nature and maybe he has like a black rhino or something something with a lot of health oh yeah if revan does drop a black rhino next turn that could be something that could help help him stabilize yeah we can see Caution has no answer to something like that. Yeah. But he's going to have... He'd have to get it off the top of his deck, and it's pretty unlikely that that's the kind of deck he's playing here, so... Yeah, and it seems like Caution's going to clear out the Finian Fruit Bear, and uh, Revan has one card in his hand, so... And he has almost no health. It's a really rough spot. 
Yeah. So he's going to make sure he buffs the 2-4 uh, here. It's going to become a 3-5. And he can either God Power, but no, his God Power is not good enough, he says. So once again, he floats one mana where he could have played Flourish and healed some of his creatures and done more damage, traded more effectively. But no, Animal Bond's definitely the better God Power. Well, it looks like he's going to win decisively. That's true. He's You're right. <laughs> And that's going to do it, it seems, almost. It doesn't quite have lethal, but it's... Uh, very close. It's very close. Man, just imagine if you had Flourish, you could kill off that 2-4. Nope. Well, if he had Flourish, he could have Flourished last turn, and then Flourished this turn, he would have won. That's true. But I, I think he's going to win no matter what. And he <laughs> did use Animal Bond this turn, proving... <laughs> <laughs> the best god power. That's true. That's true. That's true. Animal Bond just beat Flourish. This is facts. Revan's probably going to go for a Desperation Lightning Strike and he's going <laughs> to go right into the Badger. And that is going to do it for the first game of the night. The first G match, I should say. GG's uh, to Caution Fun taking out Revan. Caution is now into the round of eight players. They're only eight it's only going to be eight left there's still a bunch of games to go uh we're going to be covering uh two matches every night is the goal as long as everybody recorded their matches and uh i'll be having different co-hosts every single time as well getting a lot of the community involved so big shouts to mudman again for doing this uh I hey, gave, thanks for having me. i'm having a great time i gave him like a 10 minute notice <laughs> oh it was hours <laughs> When Copper Fist says jump, I say yes, please. <laughs> Thank you, Mudman. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm stoked to watch this next matchup. We've got yet again another TST member, and he's taken on an Octopus member. I mean, all literally, oh, Caution Fun dropping the five subs. Thank you so much, Caution. I uh, appreciate it. Look, any one of these matches could legitimately be a finals in, like, any other tournament. Like, Caution versus Revan. Easily. Oh, I, and that last that yeah. last set was great. Those were all very good games. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, the last two got a little bit steamrolly, but the first two games especially were just phenomenal. And, oh yeah, the, uh, yeah. the Slayer game in particular, that one wasn't even close. Yeah, yeah, but, but uh, uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, great games. Oh yeah, and and now you got Mirage against V two, two of the best players, two of the best teams. I mean, like the the tournament is stacked. You got two TST members. You got three infinite mana members. You got one Cujo member. And you got four octopuses. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, it, it's it's great to see the teams just all in general are just killing it in the tour. Um, it gives, it, it's proof. You know, some people say, why have teams, etc. Here's why. You, you discuss strategy, you practice, you get better, you learn things, you talk about the meta, you talk about what decks you're going to play, etc. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to see how this game goes, because uh, Mirage hasn't really been playing for the last like month or so. Yeah. So he hasn't been talking about the meta or that's, practicing or any of that stuff, so uh, that's, he's pretty fresh. I don't think he's played since War 2.0, even. I don't think he's played since Divine Order launched. Like what also I, very possible. It's it's been like quite a long time. So let's see if he's uh, if he's rusty. Yeah, I uh, I'm very curious to see here. I think in my bracket, I filled out a bracket for fun. There was a prediction bracket where you guys could win a uh, Crypto Kitty trinket for the winner of the bracket. I filled one out for fun myself. I think I picked against Mirage, but I can't remember. Uh, I knew that Mirage has not. He, he said. Uh, <laughs> When I was trying to set up the matches in that channel, he said, I, I haven't played since, I think he said since Divine Order, but maybe War 2.0. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he just seems like he might be very rusty. But at the same time, this man, I mean, we don't even need to talk about what he's done. But let me tell you guys out there. 75 and 0 during the weekend ranked. 75 and 0 during the weekend ranked. Uh, he, he was willing to stream his game with no delay after not playing for a couple of months. Unreal. Uh... Also, he uh, won Madness of the Gods 1, Madness of the Gods 2, and Madness of the Gods 3. So back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back tournaments. Uh, he, he is the GOAT. I mean, it, it's, just, it's impossible to say he's not. 
So this I, matchup, I yeah, it's going to be exciting. Octopus uh, V2 is nervous. Maybe he's feeling some nerves playing against Mirage round one. That's, I, I mean, that's true. Like, any of these matchups, these are literally the top 16 players. Like, it, you'd feel bad playing against any of them, but I definitely, Mirage's name just carries so much weight with the 75 and oh, I mean, he's he's legendary yeah, with his feats. And, oh, he's yeah. the only person that's won like multiple community tournaments. Mm. You don't want to be matched up with Mirage. Tournament. No, like, there's there's no ifs ands or buts. Yeah, exactly. It definitely definitely feels bad to have to play against uh, arguably the greatest of all time. And uh, here we go. We're underway. They both choose Deception. Let's see what kind of deck Mirage is playing. He hasn't played in a while, so I'm going to put my money on like a hidden rush. But let's see if he's trying out order and that kind of stuff for the first time. Yeah, I know Mirage is uh really likes playing sleep, like not sleep decks, but like control -y decks. So hmm. I imagine he'd go with sleep deception. Although okay. he does pick Orpheo's distraction. He really seemed to think about it here, which was interesting. Almost like he hadn't considered. But you're correct. Here comes. Well, these the... are new god powers. Him. Yeah, may never have <laughs> you're 100 percent correct on the uh, control uh, aspect here. He's definitely playing control. Yep. Uh, thank you guys for dropping all the bits and the subs and stuff uh, as we're streaming here. I'm trying to do my best to stay focused, so I might not have thanked you all, but I do appreciate it greatly. Thank you very much. Okay, so Mirage is going first, and he has Cutthroat Insight in his opening hand. That seems important. Mm. If you can cutthroat your opponent's cutthroat. That, yeah, that's good. That's good. Or even just cut throw your opponent's poly. Now you have two polys. Hmm. But then if you if your opponent gets cutthroat later, they can steal back. Yeah, it, this could get insane. This could be a crazy mirror here. And the interesting difference is that, uh, they they chose different god powers. So normally, from what I've seen, the control god power is the one that V two took. Flip. But uh, Mirage maybe either doesn't know, doesn't care. Maybe Mirage just makes the rules because he's Mirage. But he chose cheat. He might have some plan in mind with, with like the cheat god power. But if Mirage is thinking like yesterday's meta, then cheat was the god power of choice for control before. Mm. And it's not like cheat is bad. I'm sure it'll still have plenty of use case scenarios. Yeah. So V2 is either playing more of like an aggro type control maybe, or just happens to have gotten some early creatures out. They are both walls, so I wouldn't be shocked to not see more creatures come out on this turn. Yeah, it's hard to make much of a read when your opponent plays Pyramid Warden on turn one or two. <laughs> yeah. Kind of just all the decks. Yeah. Bronze Gate, I imagine, is only in control decks now that it got the nerf. Mm, that's true. Yeah, Bronze Gate used to be a 2-4, now it's a 2-3. Still a good card, but it used to just be busted. Mirage... Yeah, before it was unanswerable. Now yeah. it gets destroyed by Star Shard Bolts and Light Bombs, other stuff. And here's why Mirage is the best. He knew that he was going to have to cheat this Pyramid Warden three times to kill it. Yep, he's chipping it away. <laughs> he's just going to chip it away. Turn after turn, just keep cheating it. Now, did Mirage play Deterra in turn one, or was I imagining that? He did. So he can. Oh yeah, he okay, cool. He goes for the Cutthroat now. So that means next what turn he can get Deterra back. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, I'll take a demo. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, a shadow demo, by the way, that costs thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> An excellent steal from Mirage. Yeah, <laughs> excellent steal. Mirage is uh, definitely getting lower on health here. I think if if Mirage wants to make a cute play, he can play that uh, that stone skin poison on the Pyramid Warden, and then it'll die. It'll give him back the Deterra with six men, and he can toast the piece and get the Deterra back. Interesting. It might not be as good as just destroying the Pyramid Warden right now, though. <laughs> Okay, he destroys the Pyramid Warden. 
He's probably going to stone skin. Yeah, he's going to get rid of the, uh, the inconspicuous carriage here. Yeah, that car can be obnoxious. Oh, yeah. And that does leave his Deterra fairly protected if he wants to go for a uh, toast of these. Hmm. Yeah, Octopus V2 has been slamming his god power every turn. He's really getting to choose what cards he wants in his hand, and maybe just as importantly, what cards he doesn't want in his hand. For instance, if he had a poly, he can get rid of that to make sure that Mirage can't cutthroat it. Oh, yeah, well, uh, we saw on the turn where Mirage did play cutthroat, his V2's hand has been really great, and that's definitely because of the, the god power. Hmm, yeah. And here's the play that you were talking about. He now gets a second Deuteria on the board. That's yet an extra three cards again into his deck over time. That means if they get down to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it gets down to fatigue, Mirage now has six extra cards. And Polly doesn't just uh, negate all fatigue damage like it used to, so that might end up mattering. Veteran Hoplite says he wants to offer up something to raffle. How about an Apple guy? Who's an Apple guy? I thought Apple Boy was just a card that Finian you... Fruit Bear. Oh, wait, that guy? You're going to offer up a Finian Fruit Bear to raffle off? Well, Veteran Hoplite is known high roller. He's he's raffled off the Jasons. This, this is par for the course for him. <laughs> Thank he's you, Veteran Hoplite. In the community. After this match, we will raffle off a Finian Fruit Bear. So stick around. I love Finian Fruit uh, he's Someone's my yeah he's he's my favorite i love love finian fruit bear well i'd say finian fruit bear is my second favorite to veteran hoplite Ooh, very that was that was good <laughs> oh a shadow demo it must feel good to play that not even his demo not even his demo. when you get to play a free demo i mean that just feels good it's very nice Now, I'm not 100% sure. These Fevered Dreams, those draw Mirage a card for each sleeping creature, right? That's a good question. Let's take a peek at the card bot here, because I don't know. Fever Dreams, target creature goes to sleep, draw a card for each sleeping enemy creature. Okay, yeah, so that it does draw. And Mirage has his own Shadow Demogorgon. Wow. He might play three Shadow Demogorgon. <laughs> so he gets the heal back quite a bit. Now we haven't seen any, oh, also, any cutthroats. Dreams much bad. Mm. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good point. He doesn't want to draw too many cards. Yeah, he does. I don't think he wants to draw from his deck at all. I think yeah. he really liked to play things like Orpheus Guile to generate resources and the Fever Dream just get in the way. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, if, if he could just throw those cards out, I'm sure he would. Yeah, uh, here, if he only Hyp had a god power, he <laughs> put two cards in the deck. That's true. And Hypnosis Puzzle Box is also kind of uh, going to junk up his hand, but maybe also his opponent's hand. Ooh, the Mastermind. That's a cool one for the mirror. Yeah, this is a fun card. So this is going to put a, a Mana Bind card into his opponent's hand that he has to play or it does two damage to him. Yeah, it deals two damage for each mana bind. And when uh, Mastermind goes face, he gets another mana bind in his hand. So those will those will stack. Yeah, so it's going to junk up his hand, force him to play some stuff that he doesn't really want to. He might want to be playing things like Orpheus Guile or, or something instead. Rapture Dance. They're, they're well, guess... Mind Probes, that's what they're called. Yes, Mind Probes. Okay, I was wondering if V2 was going to just god power the mind probes in his deck for later. Hmm, interesting. That would have been, that would have been interesting. They actually could have come to his aid and by the fact that uh, it would stick around in his deck, count as a card, give him less uh, chance to fatigue quickly. And it looked like V2 went for the, uh, the get a copy of each creature mm. option for Mirage. So now he has a bonus to Terra and his own mastermind. Wow. And a demo. And a, a Demogorgon. Yeah. That was actually a really great elixir of the Panther 2 Deterras. <sighs> wow, very good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of insane. 
That might be the biggest value from an elixir of all time. Yeah, really, really great. <laughs> like, Mirage, he might have a full board, but he's not pressuring that much damage to a uh, V2's face, so this was a great time. And two yeah. to Terra is that so much value. The Mastermind is really annoying for Mirage. Demo is Demo. Yeah, this the only is... whiff he got was the Skulker. Yeah. So he's going to lose the demo at the end of this turn. Yeah, that's too bad. Um, V2, I don't think V2's played a demo. I, I don't think there's anything that bad that can come off of this Pyramid Warden from Mirage. So that's nice, I guess. Seems like the game's a little bit lagging here. They They are playing this game during what was the weekend ranked, which did have some server issues. Oh no! Did oh he... yeah, the servers were very slow. Did he not get to attack with that? Dude, yep, the terror didn't get to attack. Wow, that happened to me so many times over the weekend. Hmm, that feels bad. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Don't worry, it's just a tournament for the sixteen best players in the entire world. Mirage is very ahead on board, so V two needing a bone. Yeah, that's fair. He wanted to keep it interesting. So yeah, he did have the rapture dance. So. <laughs> he's gonna get so much value too from this guy. Oh, he get, no, he's not gonna get so much value. He gets yet another fever dreams. Oh, he doesn't that, want that's these. <laughs> this is the last. So much of his hand is unplayable. <laughs> he's literally just gonna play it and his put his hand is uh, almost. He should just get him out. Wow, of hand. he's gonna. Oh, he thought about playing too. Yeah, he should definitely play two. They need to go out of your hand. Yeah. Oh, he's going to play Hypnosis Puzzle Box instead. Interesting. So I guess he just wants to uh, mill V2 here. Yeah, and he picks up the, uh, the healing cudgel thing. Like That's pretty decent. He got to play at the same turn. There is Relic Removal in the Sanctum. And uh, V2 does have the favor for it, so he could just immediately remove that relic if he would Yeah, but he doesn't like have the to. hand size. We saw he overdrew the, uh, the stone skin, so he has to play something. And I don't think the relic is a big priority either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it does represent four damage, and he's down to 18. It's definitely getting... Uh... Getting a little bit scary for V2 here. But it is deception. You never know what's going to happen. He could he could play any number of crazy things. Uh, you have... At once they, they've hit 8 mana, and they already have hit 8 mana. You could start doing weird things with anti-magic experts and charms. You got cut Yeah, but as far as, as just healing is concerned, since V2 lost one demo to Mirage... He had one demo that he already played. He generated a bonus demo from the Elixir of the Panther, and then Duger Priest are the only ways he can heal, right? Mm. So maybe Mirage can just chip him over the edge. He does have the Relic and the Rune of Fire. Yeah. Does he grab the Relic Remover to protect his Relic? No. Looks like he's eyeing the, the ally instead. Yeah, so this gains plus one strength for each creature that dies. It is nice when you put it up behind a frontliner. Kind of guarantees that something has to die first most of the time. But it still yeah, seems a I little think this weak. Time it's just a body. What was that? I think this time it's just a body. Mirage mm. just wants any more creatures. He can see that, you know, V2 is only at 13. He has the Rune of Fire in hand. Ooh, so he drops, right, is... he drops his own big demo here. I think he yeah, might, might have already dropped. Generation. Yeah. <sighs> He's so many options. He's one mana away from Polly. It looks like he's going to go Jason and then probably exercise. Hmm. Because he, he, you can't let his uh, V2's demo attack, right? He's yeah. got to keep him at 14 try to kill him. That gatekeeper could be nuts. 
Yeah, it's definitely expensive, and you know they're at the mm -hmm. high mana totals. Not he goes for the cheaper option. Monolith of the Storms is it, crazy. Oh, I would take Grendel. Ah, yeah, it's got to be Grendel, right? Grendel's yeah. good. He's eyeball. He's probably thinking about that Cerberus just because of the current board state. But by the time that Cerberus gets around, it probably won't be the current board state. And there's the Rapture Dance that will take yeah, that will take care of everything. Yeah. Yeah, Grendel is the perfect demo killer. So, if he could top deck Grendel, for instance, uh... yeah, Grendel be real nice. But realistically, Mirage has Rapture Dance for next turn, then Polly for the turn after. Yeah, Loki and Disciple. He's got a lot of good options. Yeah, Caution said Mirage was probably reading the Magic Legendary because uh, he's probably not familiar with it. And that Monolith is uh... right. You have to remember, he <laughs> doesn't know any of the new cards. That's <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Oh, he can't quite clear board here. That demo. He can use his face relic to kill it. Yeah. Would heal for four. Looks like that's what he's going to have to do. Yeah, it's unfortunate. He used the god power first, or else he could have used Rune of Fire to kill the demo without healing. Yeah, I'm guessing he was digging for, I don't know what, but something. Mm-hmm. I mean, this game is, like, they both still, they almost have, like, full decks still. They've both played so many Deuterias and Jasons and... Yeah, V2 had that one, that one huge value turn with the Elixir of the yeah. Panther or whatever, but Mirage's god power generating him, generating him mm. a Deception card every turn, like, that's gonna add up. Okay, here comes the Poly, so... Does V2 have any answer for the poly? That's the million dollar question. You'd think he does, right? Like a ransom, a toast a piece, something. Yeah, we haven't, seen, we haven't seen any like cutthroats from V2. I don't know what, what V2's been playing, but it kind of seems like it was a very different type of controlled deception. Yeah, I'm not particularly well versed on like the current sleep deception decks, but it seems like sleep deception runs between one and zero cutthroats. So mm. maybe V2 has zero. Apparently, you play a uh, Wiznapper. Is that that guy's name? Yeah, he must have gotten that randomly. Cause that's a welcome set card, right? <laughs> and it's gold. Gold. Yeah, I don't. Mirage doesn't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I. Yeah, how did he get that? Yeah, I don't know how he did it, but it's oh, pretty good. Off of Orpheus Guile. It's oh, a... of course, because the Orpheus Guile was gold. Yeah, it's a pretty good, good get. Off of uh, Orpheus Guile. He's just going to play that poly again. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. So V2's drawn a lot of his deck. You, I imagine he's going to play his own poly. Whoa. He just played Blessing of Deception? Interesting. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what this 1-2 this with Hidden does. Yeah, that's, what is this guy, the th underhanded thug or something like that? I think it replaces relics or gets you relics. It's, uh, when this creature damages your opponent, replace a random card in their hand with, uh, with an anim, enchanted weapon, or rune. So it's actually going to replace cards <laughs> in Mirage's hand. That's annoying. Uh, at the same time, if it replaces it with a rune or a weapon, I mean, that almost helps Mirage to some extent. It's going to give him reach. Yeah, and Mirage has the, the Spellbound, the two Fever Dreams. Yeah. 
And like Orpheus Guile, you can argue, is pretty worthless. Yeah. So at the, at the same time, it actually could end up helping, although it's not going to be able to ever attack face, because... Or it's just any attack, like, is it? Uh, oh yeah, when it damages your opponent, yeah. So he's never going to be able to damage the opponent. P presumably. Maybe he has uh, trapdoors and stuff, but... It's going to be tough. Yeah. This Loki and Disciple's looking pretty good here. Maybe we see Toast of yep, Peace. Has, if three creatures on the board, if two of them live, he wins. Now, was it a mistake to play the Loki and Disciple to the left of the poly? You have to yes. Be, yeah, you have to be worried yeah, about Toast of Peace. Be on the far side for Toast of Peace. Yeah. Unless, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he thought Lokian was better than... I don't know how you think Lokian's better than Polly, but... No, there's there's no way. Yeah, I think he just wasn't thinking about toast to peace, or doesn't, or thinks it's like order of cards played. Because mm. Polly did come down first. Yeah. Yeah. So for those of you guys at home who don't know what we're talking about, toast to peace returns all the cards on the board into your hand. But if there's no room, and here it is, if there's no room, it goes left to right. Wow. So he's actually going to lose Polly now, but he gets back the Loki and Disciple. Yeah, so not the, only did Mirage lose Polly, but V2 got another to Terapies. Yeah, that's a, that's a big mistake that easily could have been prevented. Kind of shocked to see, uh, to see him make that mistake. Well, the Loki Disciple is still quite strong. It's got hidden, it's going to deal 6 damage. Yeah. And uh, then, you know, he's got Anti-Magic Expert for, like, the remaining bursts, as well that's as Rune of Fire. That's true. And Mirage has 29 health, so V2's got <laughs> a lot to do before he wins. Oh, he had to sleep his own creature. That's too bad. It it wakes up for his turn though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it gets good. Unless uh, unless there's any effects that V two has that somehow deal with, it would have gone to sleep anyway. But there we go. That's the demo we knew about. At least it dies at the end of the turn. Now he has two anti magic experts and the uh, you know he used the rune of fire. That's right. Yeah, but two anti magic experts. That's really close. It's going to do yeah. a lot of damage right now. Yeah, this is looking this is looking awful. I don't I don't know how you can hold them at bay to get rid of the whole board again. Yeah, next turn Mirage can go face with his uh his anti-magic expert on the board and then just anti-magic expert that's same 5/5. Five, five. Yeah. And then that's if he, um B2 figures out a way to get rid of the Loki and disciple. So, ends up giving him a a glamoured gla a glamoured gladius. Oh, is that what happened to Mirage's Rune of Fire? Is it got turned into the deadly rod? Oh, that makes sense. Yes, that card is annoying. Yeah, it actually legitimately it could, could have, have caused trouble. Yeah, that would have been huge. Yeah, could have made it a whole different game. And that's uh, not quite lethal still. It's close. I'd be interested in playing one of these relics. Yeah. It just doesn't line up because he has to play a seven mana card and none of them are very good. Right. Yeah, this is pretty... This is pretty nice though. He's a massive board. And nothing can survive. It's gonna have and, uh, to be toast to peace or something. Era is again. just lethal. Yeah, it's V two has to clear this entire board, and it's really hard. One is hidden. One has protected. One has ten health. He sleeps it all again. That's nice. A demo. 
Oh, that's lethal. Uh, that's, yeah, that's lethal. He's got... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you, you have lethal. You have lethal. No, 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 Mirage. Oh, he's no. not doing it. Mirage. Mirage missed lethal. He could have uh, anti-magic expert the 7-7. Seven, seven. Gone face. Yeah, gone face. But Mirage has been on vacation for the last two months. <laughs> And forgot how God's Unchained works. Someone tell this guy how God's Unchained works. It it still looks good for Mirage. <laughs> it looks okay. I think he's gonna be okay. He finally got rid of that annoying thing, so the anti magic <laughs> expert shouldn't be leaving his hand barring a cutthroat. Yeah. Sometimes when you're so far yeah, ahead, it's uh so if his board goes to sleep again, he can't anti magic expert the seven seven anymore. His board's too full. True. True. Could be, could be a big mistake. Probably won't be, but it could be. I mean, yeah, like it, missing Mirage lethal. Still yeah. Does Twenty-one more health. Yeah. Oh, here's the sleep. Now he's got two seven sevens. Yeah, but V two has played all his potential demos. I imagine he doesn't have Duger Priest. Anymore, so I don't think he can heal unless the Sanctum gives him something. Mm. And Mirage has 36 favor, and V2 has 70 favor, so it seems like neither of them are buying it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy. I, I guess you, well, yeah, you don't even want a god power because that junks up your board even further. So you probably just Rune of Sight. Yeah, Rune of Sight. Oh, I there it is. I don't wow. see any reason why you wouldn't. Oof. Oh, so V2 game. finally throws in the towel. Makes sense. He probably ran out of um, ways to sleep. What a crazy game one. Holy yeah, smokes. Yeah, that one was a barn burner. Yeah. And so that means that Mirage can no longer play Deception. He needs to win with two different gods now to finish this off. And V2 can actually... Uh, Continue to play Sleep Deception if he so chooses. Or is he going to switch it up? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if V2 stays with Sleep Deception. I know he's been playing that a lot on like the weekend rank. Mm. So it's definitely a deck he feels comfortable with. Let's see if we can... I'll just let it... Eh, maybe I should fast forward. Eh, it looks like they're going to come back. Should be back in a second here. How's everybody out there doing? Thank you guys for hanging out. I did turn off the sound effects aftermath. Sorry. This is likely going up on YouTube. Maybe slightly edited. So, uh... <laughs> can't refund blurps. Sorry, aftermath. Uh, we are going to do an Apple Boy Finian uh, raffle after this match, so stick around. Exciting. Everyone likes the Apple Boys. Oh, yeah. Gotta love an Apple Boy. All right, they're queuing in. Getting ready for game two. Mirage is ahead. One game to none. It's best of five. And they both change gods. Mirage going first again. That kind of seems to be key so far. So uh, Caution went first four times in a row. Now we got Mirage going first two games in a row. Does TST know about a hack to go first that I don't know about? You have to click harder. Oh. I'm going to start trying that. Oh. Hardest wins. Little known <laughs> fact. <laughs> right, you got the turn one, Pyramid Warden. Can't go wrong with that. You're holding the shield bearer in hand. Feels good. V2 has switched to sleep death. Now that he's now, give sleep deception. Or this is casino or... deception. <laughs> oh! He gets Great, the very poly. Fair. Very fair. He gets a polyhymnia in the void on turn one. That means. Octopus V2 can now raise dead on turn four and bring out a Palia. That means Mirage has approximately two more turns to win this game before. Tournaments, all best players facing off, and it's culminated to casino death is the ring. 
now, I mean, look, I can't blame V2 at all. If I was V2 and I'm playing against Mirage 88, I might think my best chance is to go to the casino, pull the slots, and see what comes up. And if it's my number, great. And if not, I was going to lose anyway, so whatever. Working perfectly. He has the poly in his void. He has that scarab to make sure he gets the raise dead. Yeah, he just He's drew it. that poly next turn. This is this is nuts. Can oh, it's so close. He might he might even have well, once the poly comes out, it's gonna be impossible to get around it, but man, like between the size of the harvest and the warmonger smith, that's six face damage. Isn't for V2 hitting the proverbial triple sevens. Yeah. Then would definitely have it, but it's not looking good for Mirage. Uh, at the well, same time, he's, he's got, got the god power. God power can get there eventually. Yeah. I mean... Doesn't just infinite protect face anymore. Yeah. Wow, so much blitz and everything. I mean, this is crazy. Are we about to see a, a turn four polyhymnia? I am terrified. There's the pip. Is it raised dead? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Turn four. Polyhymnia, the best card in the game. Should cost nine mana. Supposed to come down, turn 16. <laughs> four. <laughs> wow. This is the insane. The Viking Longship, that's a lot of flank. That's flank! He's got the flank! That's it. He found 13 damage. Next turn he can God Power. There's also the... Uh, he's got a, a Form of Power in the Sanctum that can bring him down. Oh, no, no, I think you play the Form of Power. It does one damage. That one damage is important, because next turn his opponent's going to God Power. No, 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 get the form of power! Form of power! I think you need it, don't you? Unless you have ways he's of giving... Need... He's gonna need Asting Wand or the form of power or something. That's but true. But I don't think V2 gets enough favor to buy anything. That's true, that's true. Your issue is like a return to caves or just a nibble. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. That... Good point. That's true. He can, he can, he can take it next turn because, yeah, Octopus V2 can't likely get uh and there it is he just passes and god power wow holy smokes uh turn four poly turn four poly <laughs> that's that is li i mean casino death to be able to pull the slot machine and get this is very very rare to see it happen in a tournament and then for it to not even matter is one of the better like casino rolls I've ever seen. Like, yeah. In his board, he got one scarab, doesn't matter. And then just poly. He didn't lose anything important. He got the poly on turn four. Lost. V2 must be so mad. There's <sighs> no way he can he can play calmly after that game. Oh yeah, I mean you can't you can't ask for a better roll than that. I mean you you played casino yeah, and you hit the there. jackpot and, and you still lost. <laughs> Holy smokes. That was absolutely wild. Uh, right, when you play the turn five poly, it must be like 99%, and this <laughs> is the 1%. Yeah, turn four poly. Poly, it, wasn't, it was better than what I said. Uh, yeah, that was insane. Wow. I mean, you can't go back to the casino well here because you just lost after hitting a jackpot. I mean, what do you even play at this point? Like... I imagine V2 never plays Casino Death ever again. <laughs> oh my god. That was insane. Wow. Light versus nature. Or sorry, light versus magic. Uh, yeah. So it looks like we got Mirage playing this aggro magic. He's yet again going first. I honestly think that uh, someone from... Immutable should look into these TST teams. Uh, they seem a little sus with their ability to go first. Seven out of seven games so far. What can I say? Mirage clicks really hard. <laughs> hmm. 
Uh, oh, he's got the turn one assistant alchemist. He could play his whole hand here if he wanted to. Guessing he probably doesn't. Probably saves that street conjurer. Conjurer's usually pretty important. Mm -hmm. I'd hold on to it. But he's he's the best. We're not. That's why he played it. He's tipping it out. <laughs> I mean, you Sorry are playing. Bolt in his hand. You're playing against magic, right? And, or, or against uh, uh, light. And light really wants to control that board. So if you can get more cards on the board than your opponent, you might just win the game. Star shard bolt in hand. So he's going to have three creatures. He's going to be able to kill one of V2's creatures. Yeah, so you just you sack the assistant alchemist. And then you star shard bolt. You get back the assistant alchemist. Very, very good trade for Mirage. Yeah, this a two is... favor for this? Yeah, this is... And that's all he gets. <sighs> the great oh. start here. Yikes. Well, like, what's the best thing V2 can do? Is it, is it Light's Levy the... Yeah, I mean, this yeah. this feels bad for sure. Mirage does only have one card in hand. And Order does go He's through a ward. At risk of bricking. This is decent. That's interesting. And he obliterates, okay. V2 playing a control light. Can control light hang with the speed of aggro magic? Yeah. And he can go face here with God Power. This has played everything full on top deck mode. Yeah. Nuts. It is not very good. He lights levied essentially. Oh, there it is. Palace's Wand is interesting, but. Not great. Uh, he has no other cards in hand to buff it with, so it's just going to kind of hang out. It's looking like he's going to have to just play Palace's Wand and then just break it next turn. Hmm. Yeah. He wants to draw off it. He's going to need to... He can do it three turns from now, because he unless he top decks a card draw card, which mm. is hard to do. He runifies this two-two, so it can't be canonized, right? Yeah, that's that's got to be a consideration for sure. Canonize is a card that you can easily overlook your opponent playing, and if you do, suddenly it bites you in the butt. Your opponent's got a five-five with protected. You thought you were winning, and suddenly you're like, "Oh no, what have I done?" At the stage of the game where Mirage get rid of all of V2's creatures or else he might just lose and Mirage has almost no hands so it's going to be really hard and it's interesting that he chose the 5-1 instead of just taking out his opponent's creature gaining the favor also God Power's face instead of playing the palace's wand he gets very punished by canonize here yeah that's very interesting and the archer I mean I yeah question he why he didn't canonize so that's good yeah That's a nice top deck. He can take out the one, two. Nice. I actually ignored the Acolyte last turn. Do you think he ignores it again? I think he's going to ignore it again. And I think he's just begging to get punished. Mirage's head. He's dealing five damage a turn guaranteed. And his opponent was at 15, so it's almost over. And a fire in the Sanctum. I guess with this control type of light here, maybe there is no canonizes. He's playing a lot of order type cards. Control -y. Maybe there are no canonizes. It's Ooh. it seems weird to me to not have canonize in your light deck, but you know, what do I know? That worm breath though, that's yeah. getting him very close to lethal. Especially eyeball on that rune of fire. He gets enough favor to buy the rune of fire. He'll probably have woven in enough god powers to win. 
I mean, it would just destroy your relic right here just to get more card draw, right? Maybe you wait till next turn. Yeah, now you can buy the Rune of Fire, but yeah, I don't. Aids with the Worm Breath. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Can uh... you deal half your opponent's <laughs> life? I, I'm definitely a little speechless here as to. Yeah, I, I probably would have broken the Relic to draw a card at the start of that turn and just said, all I need is like one more card to win this game. Like, worst case scenario, you just go face with the Rune of Fire, you not Rune of Fire, with the Worm Breath, you try to get the Rune of Fire and you just win. Now it's way harder for Mirage to get over the top. Yeah. The Vow of Learning can do one face damage or it can do three damage to... One face damage, then protect his two, so he can he can trade and power to kill off the Helios if he doesn't want to go face. Hmm. Puts it on the three one. Keep that around. That is the most damage he can deal. All right. What does V two have for six mana that can bail him out of this? Maybe a Seraph? One of those uh, one ones that uh, set all opponent's creatures. Okay, he's got another another frontliner that has pr protected here. It's not bad. Uh, does have the flank yet again. That's true. That's true. That rune of fire, he can have he'd have lethal. Yeah. So does he take out the three three with frontliner? He goes face. He goes face. Yeah, I guess he could just face, god, power god power a couple times. Hope his opponent can't heal. Maybe he draws a worm breath. Yeah. Looking You looking might believe awful. Light doesn't have that much healing. So he finally breaks his relic and he top decks the worm breath. Wow. Oh GG. That's why Mirage is the best. <laughs> he just he Puerto just Rico, uh <laughs> he, Casino Jack. I mean, how do you beat a casino jackpot like that? I mean, that's just insane. Proof that Mirage is the best. Unbelievable.